downed trees and lots of damaged property like this shed. Dozens of homes sit along Diamond Heights Road. And now neighbors are cleaning up after Mother Nature's powerful punch. It's devastating. You know, you, you, you kind of go into shock, I think. So what, what do we do now and all that? Jerry and Elise Hart's home saw the worst of the storm as it headed south, uprooting trees along its path. Their 15-year-old son, Kyle, was home alone. I got a call from my son about 10 minutes after 4, and he called and said, I think a tornado just went through our place and trees hit the house, but I'm okay. And then we were disconnected. The Hearts rushed to their house to find trees everywhere, scattered on their front lawn, three on top of their roof, and more laying in their backyard. You got home and you saw this. And I wanted to turn around and leave. <laughs> <laughs> just up the street, a similar scene, a damaged carport shed more trees knocked to the ground. I've lost about 10 or 12 here anyway. Carl Wirt and his son Dave were working in their shed when their dog started to get uneasy. And then the storm rolled in. It was loud. We knew it just wasn't a regular wind. Carl's lived here for almost 30 years and hasn't seen anything like this before. Neither has his neighbor Mike Camerano. His carport was hit and he's lost trees. Boy, what a mess do I have to clean up. It's going to take me weeks and weeks for me to get all this cleaned up. Picking up after Mother Nature isn't easy, but the hearts are just grateful for insurance and that their son made it out okay. He was pretty shook up. 